Whatever that is, in Ramadan, it's not going to go away. You, you start thinking, oh no, no, that's shaitan. And shaitan is chained. So as soon as, you know, Ramadan starts, وَتَكُونُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ قَوْمًا صَالِحِينَ After shaitan is gone, you're going to be good. You're, you're great. No, it doesn't work that way. He's done pretty good training for 11 months. And now you're on your own, and you're still conditioned to do what he's, he's been conditioning you to do. This month is actually a time for us to understand what it means to give Allah alone. What it means to give up before Allah. Allah and by the way, the idea of alone is, in, in the case of Allah, Allah Azza wa is promising, guaranteeing that He's going to give you back. Just like He says, okay, why don't you hold off on eating and drinking? Why don't you hold off on intimacy? Hold off on it for these hours, for me. And Allah promises you, guarantees you rewards and benefits. And those rewards and benefits are not on the iftar table. There are much more rewards and benefits than what's sitting at the table. There's that, what you're getting out of this, this month is so valuable that it's actually going to be the only thing of value when we come in front of Allah. Now what has He given me and left me in charge of? He gave me a tongue. He gave me eyes. He gave me this body. He didn't just give me wealth. He gave me a mind. He gave me time. He gave me so much. And He's asking out of all of that, I want you to give me back. If He's given you energy, He wants your energy. If He's given you talent, He wants your talent. If He's given you intellect, He wants you to use your intellect. You use your sharp mind. Spend out of it. Spend out of what Allah has given you. Give it to Him. Give it to Him and give it to Him. Some of you, mashallah, Men and women have very sharp tongues, for example. You know, if, some, if somebody says something to you, you can say something nuclear in response and silence them for generations. You know how to do it. The, the words come rushing from your gut, up your throat, into your, you know, and out of your mouth. They're, they're ready to come out. And you say to yourself, you know what, my anger and my response, uh, I'm gonna put it back in, I'm gonna swallow it, I'm gonna give this as a loan to Allah, I'm going to give it to and I pro, Allah promises He will give me much back more in return. I'm loaning my anger over. I, I don't want it now. When impulses come in this Ramadan, what does Allah do? Allah teaches us this entire concept. Delayed gratification. When fasting begins, and by the time fasting en ends, you and I are going to feel hunger. We're going to feel thirst. As a matter of fact, our Messenger وسلم, even told us that fasting extends beyond food and food and drink. And you know, intimacy, it goes beyond that. Our tongues are fasting, our eyes are fasting, our ears are fasting, our limbs are fasting. Why in that time, in those hours, I've decided that I'm going to be extra cautious. I'm going to be more aware of what my eyes fall on. I'm going to be more aware of what comes out of my mouth. Some, the people that are annoying to you before Ramadan are still annoying to you during Ramadan. The people who make you angry before Ramadan started still make you angry when Ramadan has started. The things that agitate you, the things that, you know, or the things that we, you know, you're, you're drawn to. Like you like to waste your time with them. Entertainment. Some people lose themselves in entertainment for hours and hours. Some people lose themselves in social media for the day goes up, sun goes up and down. They're scrolling screens. That's what they're doing. What is actually valuable? You know, in this life, money is valuable. House is valuable. Clothes are valuable. Jewelry is valuable. These things are valuable. Health is valuable. Your body is valuable. You know, these are things that we value. Good food is valuable. These are things that we value in life. You wouldn't want to wear dirty clothes. You wouldn't want to live in a, you know, in a bad neighborhood or in, a, in an ugly house. You want to be in a place that has more value because you value yourself. But one day comes, a day is coming where none of this has any value. None of it.